Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to recap a clip from my interview yesterday with Fabio, head of growth of Sologenic and Corium. We discussed solo text, texture capital, and updates for Sologenic and Corium. There's one thing that we got Fabio to spill the beans on is the Sologenic asset tokenization engine or the so Sologenic tokenization gateway is actually the official term. And I'm going to speculate on this because I think it's going to be even bigger than we could imagine when you connect the dots to some old posts. So first of all, if you guys have been with Solo for a long time, you've been holding the Solo t ticker token, then you would know that back in the day when the NFT wave was uh, really big, uh, you were able to burn Solo and basically uh, issue NFTs, mint NFTs onto the blockchain. That was one of the use cases. And now I think with the new Sologenic V2, thanks to Corium, uh, things are gonna get even crazier for the utility of the Solo token. So uh, Bob Ross posted this last year, the engineering team at Sologenic will soon be releasing a technical document for the new Sologenic asset tokenization gateway. Fabio mentioned this in the video yesterday. You could see me smiling and happy as hell because this is one of the reasons I hold and accumulate solo. But this time, the Sologenic Asset Tokenization Gateway, the ATG, is introducing non-custodial trading of tokenized stocks and ETFs. Focusing on user empowerment, the ATG allows trading while users maintain asset custody with Sologenic facilitating only the issuance and redemption of security tokens within regulatory frameworks. This is enabled by Corium Smart Token technology. So they're leveraging the Corium Smart Token technology. This marks a significant step forward in finance. And he mentions the Solo token will play a pivotal role in the Sologenic tokenization gateway, serving as the gas fee for any redemption and issuance processes. With each transaction burning Solo, a dynamic approach to maintain value and utility. Now, remember, there's only like 399 million solo and it's deflating soon. We could also see here, uh, this is an old post as well from November 28th. Should Sologenic create the world's first decentralized? This is before we knew about Solotex. So this post says, should Sologenic create the world's first decentralized real world asset marketplace on Corium? designed for real world asset token issuers and all licensed brokers. So this is designed for all licensed brokers. That's key word because I believe what I was talking about with some homies and speculating on is texture capital is focused on USA residents and USA tokenized assets like USA stocks. Uh, but they did meet with El Salvador. And there is an entire globe. We know that Bob Ross also has presence in the UAE. So could there be UAE-based brokers, El Salvador-based brokers that also want to tap into this Sologenic asset tokenization engine and build a similar product as Solotech? Solotech leads the way. USA leads the way. Other countries follow and also use a Sologenic asset tokenization engine on different platforms. That's how big this could possibly be. Because this said, this is for all licensed brokers. Texture Capital is one. There's many. Uh, so it says, designed for real world asset token issuers and all licensed broker dealers authorized to issue token tokens in various jurisdictions. So we know Texture Capital isn't the world. There's going to be people all over the world potentially using this asset tokenization engine. And Quorum is built to support financial institutions in maintaining compliance. Quorum is uh, the infrastructure. That's exactly how it shows in the website. So when I was beginning to say this, there uh, we have Sologenic Tokenization Engine, which is the ATG, Texture Capital, the USA Broker Dealer, Quorum, the infrastructure. Also one last other clue, look at Bob's gonna drop in this alpha. The first tokenized stock and ETF platform available in the U.S. is coming in a few months. Bob told us all the, a long time ago, the first one always wins. I don't know how long ago this has been, but I made a post last night. I said he's been giving the alpha the entire time for, on the first chain for tokenized USA stocks. I hate it or love it. 
and he says Corum empowers businesses of all sizes, small or big, even regulated financial institutions to harness blockchains for next gen financial so solutions. Because Corum has these advanced smart contracts, everything that Fabio was mentioning in that last it, 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 uh, in that last video about like lending, borrowing, advanced uh, smart contract DeFi applications could be done with these uh, tokenized assets through the uh, ATG. So this is the backstory. And now I'm going to basically, so remember, uh, Solo is playing a pivotal role in the Sologenic tokenization gateway, according to Bob Ross. And uh, let's play this clip now that you guys who are new have all this backstory of information. And um, let's play this clip. Like institutions in Wall Street, like they can access stocks on demand already in the U.S. So the value proposition, it really is for Web3 native investments, uh, uh, Web3 native users, at least on version one. What institutions are mostly interested on is what I mentioned about rehypothecating assets and collateralization and just uh -huh. more capital mobility use cases around stocks, right? Like they can settle trades from, you know, New York, Tokyo and Paris using the same tokenized asset. That's what they're, you know, hungry, hungry for. And that's what the, we're going to aim to facilitate what it, through tokenization, through the asset tokenization gateway, actually. And also all, all their asset issuers. So aside from stocks, you know, there's private credit, um, there's IP. I'm very excited about IP rights specifically, like you being able to invest in the money that goes into a movie, for example, and being able to liquidate before the movie is even made because there's a market for that token for those shares. Like there's a whole world that it's on top there. And, and that's where institutions are also uh, hungry for more than accessing stocks on demand. They brought the, the something that I've been really interested in learning about and like something that I've been like going back on some of Bob's old post, uh, the asset tokenization gateway. And when we look at the Solotex website, you know, Quorum infrastructure, I'm not sure exactly the interoperability aspects, the, the gas token aspects. Uh, is Sologenic still playing a key role in the ecosystem that you guys are building as far as being like a, the asset tokenization engine? Like, is that uh, asset to tokenization gateway uh, via Sologenic uh, still like in the pipeline? And will it be multi-chain like available on Corium and Sologenic? Like that feature is because uh, I think that the community needs some clarity on that. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Like Solotex, like I mentioned, it's think of it as an app, right? It's one of the use cases of our tokenization engine. It's just like Fireblocks partnered with I don't know um, another broker dealer, and they they were the tokenization engine facilitating the, anything from the infrastructure and the token issuance and and the product build itself. So that's what Sologenic is doing with Texture, but we are still working on the asset tokenization gateway as, as a key part specifically of institutional adoption, right? Uh, so yeah, I hope that brings some clarity and interoperability, like I mentioned, cross-chain is fundamental. So I, I hope that answers your question too. So that basically means that like, that would be Sologenic's job in the ecosystem is like being that uh, gateway where uh, Corium is like role in the ecosystem is the uh the inf infrastructure uh because like because like i remember this thing that on the sologenic website says tokenize uh rw is and rw is and on demand and then you got solonex which is like the tokenization uh, for the brokers the turnkey tokenization for the broker so this will like advance and also be available on the corium blockchain basically so it wouldn't just be on xrpl anymore yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, this, if you think about it, when we wrote this page, no broker dealer was allowed to hold digital securities yet. So the demand for these solutions was not there yet. A lot has changed. So I think 
it's safe to say that we'll still have this in some shape or another. Maybe it's not going to be called Solonex specifically, but the the core uh, part of it is going to be an asset tokenization gateway that potentially evolves into an aggregator, like an index marketplace where you can track and invest in all of these RWAs, not just the ones that we're doing with Solitex. Wow, man. Seems pretty big. And yeah, this was a big question for the I probably community. said I probably said more than So boom. So when we connect the dots. So he said more than just what we're doing with Texture Capital. Uh, Texture Capital, they're gonna have to be first to roll out. USA leads the way. But uh this sologenic tokenization engine based on years of research and connecting the dots is going to be able to be used by many different broker dealers who are licensed to basically issue these type of assets. Uh, Sologenic will be facilitating in the issuance and redemptions of these security tokens within regulatory different frameworks, different jurisdictions. We know they have a relationship in El Salvador, UAE. So what I speculate is uh Basically, USA will lead the way, and then basically other uh, countries and jurisdictions are going to follow uh, the successful product of the USA markets and also use uh, that Sologenic tokenization engine for other apps in other jurisdictions. So it's even bigger than just a solo text. Just like Corium is bigger than just RWAs. It's going to be AI stuff all different types of dApps and cool things and uh, different markets like prediction markets on Corium, all the cool DeFi stuff is going to be happening on Corium, like so many things that we can't even imagine yet. But also the Sologenic Asset Tokenization Engine is going to be bigger than a lot of people are speculating. It's bigger than just texture capital. That's just the first domino to fall based on how I'm seeing this play out. So it says, should Sologen create the world's first decentralized RWA marketplace? Then later we see Solotex get announced a few months later. And um, it's designed for all licensed broker dealers authorized to issue tokens in various jurisdictions. <sighs> Fuck, man. I'm so damn bullish. That interview got me so hyped. I was like, posting bull posting on x last night just like let's freaking go we freaking found a gold mine so yeah guys uh when this do and remember this is not really designed for retail like a retail user really couldn't benefit exactly from the utility of solo that's not why it's not really marketed to people like you and me there's only a few people talking about this. But the solo token is going to play a pivotal role in the sologenic tokenization gateway for these institutional players. So if we go to sologenic.com, it's a advanced tokenization tokenization solution for institutions, uh, not for retail. So this is like a banker coin right here and it helps you unlock the potential of digital assets uh, with a very quick turnkey solution. They even had a CBDC toolkit built for institutions um, way back. They've been ahead of the game and uh, Sologenic is supposed to be getting upgraded with the new white paper version 2 that is uh, using uh, Sologenic, I mean, that's using Corium smart token technology because uh, Sologenic is basically an app that could be a product that could be running on multiple chains. So it's a multi chain product. Uh, right now, we're mainly known for the XRP Ledger and Corium. So there should be some updates coming to uh, the Sologenic project. And I had to have some conversations that. Uh, when it's ready, they will announce it. And uh, I think this is going to be uh, pretty big. Like the use case, once the use case is very clear on the solo token, uh, it should freaking explode. So that's my speculation. This is not financial advice. Hopefully you enjoyed 
uh, this video of me connecting the dots. Remember, get your ass on the wait list. You're going to join the wait list by going to solotext.com, put your information in, and get uh, early access to this uh, amazing platform that we've been talking about here on the Zen Lounge. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my research. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. We're going to create momentum, put out videos every single day. Peace out, everyone.